Hey everybody, Mike Wardinsky here from naturemike.com and today I've got a quick tip video to show you how to separate JPEG files from RAW files if you shoot RAW plus JPEG in camera. To show you what this looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and import a few images that I photographed of my computer screen because I typically shoot just straight RAW, but these are all RAW plus JPEG, so I'm gonna go ahead and import these. Okay, so here we have our four photos and you can see at the top it says CR3 plus JPEG, that's the Canon RAW file plus the JPEG nested together. And if you don't see this, you can always control click on this text and you can change a variety of metadata. And if you'd like to see the file type, all you need to do is come up to file extension, click there. And now we can see here are our photos. Now, in order to separate these, we need to go up to Lightroom Classic and I'm gonna to go to preferences. And then I need to turn on treat JPEG files next to raw files as separate photos. And I'm gonna close this. Now you can see nothing has happened because we've already imported the photos. If we were to import again, Lightroom would treat the raw files from the JPEG separately, but since they're already in here, we can't unnest them with solely that command. But what we can do now that we've turned that on is head over to our folder and right now you can see it says it has four photos in the folder. If I control click on a Mac or right click on a PC, that's gonna bring up this menu. And then I can go down to synchronize folder. And then we get this dialog box and you can see it says import new photos and there's eight photos within that folder on my hard drive. And I like to show the import dialog before importing. It's not necessary, but I typically like to do that just in case I'm importing a large amount of files. I wanna see what's actually coming into Photoshop before I hit import. So we're gonna go ahead and hit synchronize here. And there we go, here's our JPEG images. So we're just gonna go ahead and import those and they're gonna come into the exact same folder that the other ones were in. And when I click here, you can see we have our raw and JPEG files. Now there's multiple reasons why you might wanna do this. Maybe you wanna to compare to the picture style or picture control of the JPEG from the camera, or maybe you imported a bunch of raw and JPEG photos into Lightroom and now you wanna get rid of the JPEGs. So one way to get rid of the JPEGs would be to select the folder and then head up to metadata. If you don't see this tab, hit the backslash key and that'll open and close it. And then click on metadata and then I'm gonna head over to label. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna navigate up to file type. And then I'll click on JPEG. I can hit Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC, that's to select all. I will then hit the X key to put reject flags on all those photos and then simply hit the delete key. And then I can either remove them from Lightroom or delete from the disk. And in this case, I don't want any JPEGs in Lightroom or on my hard drive, so I'm gonna choose delete from disk. Check out the video on the screen for a complete Lightroom develop tutorial. My name's Mike Wardinsky. Don't forget to check out naturemike.com and I'll see you in the next video.